Hi guys, welcome to the video. So I'm going to be showing you a few setup tips and guides on how to make your setup looking slightly cleaner and nicer. Now, to start off with, I'm going to be showing you how to get a translucent uh, taskbar. So this taskbar, it can sort of get in the way of your um, wallpaper and can make it look a bit ugly. So pretty much what you're going to want to do, go into here, search up Microsoft Store, and then you're just going to open it up. All right, guys, so when you get onto the Microsoft Store, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to the search bar and then you're going to want to search Translucent TB. Now, when this comes up, it should come up with Translucent TB and it should be free. So once you've just found that, just click that, install it, and then you're going to want to launch it. Now, when you launch it, it should come up there or it will pop up on your screen. So you can close the Microsoft Store down. Now, when you click this, it will come up with this. It's not an actual app but you're gonna to wanna to change all of them. So let's say you want it clear, you'll just change that to clear. So this is it normally, and then this is it clear. So, and now as you can see, it is clear. Now one other thing which I will suggest um, getting is um, a wallpaper engine. It's a live wallpaper engine. Uh, there's like hundreds of different sort of wallpapers that you can choose from as well as, it's not just limited to, to the ones that they create. You have the whole of the Steam community that can create them. It's literally just called. So another setup tip which I'm gonna be saying is get a live wallpaper engine, but not just any. Get this one called Wallpaper Engine on Steam. So you're gonna to wanna to go into the search bar, search up Wallpaper Engine, it's three pounds, get it. It will make your setup look so much better. You're not just limited to the ones that they create. There's hundreds you can create and select your own different styles and colors. And it's not just limited to that. It's limited to the whole of the community. It's got features, you can build your own, you can create all sorts. It works with different sort of, you know, big brand softwares. So it works with, you know, Razer, Corsair softwares, and, you know, anyone can use it. You need low specs, it won't even use up that much of your PC specs if you have it open. And when you are having an application open, it will, it will stop all animations and wallpapers to save PC resources, which is really useful, which some others may not. So as you can see, you can create your own, and also some of them actually have music. So you can also create your own images, add them in, videos. So it could be, you know, your family um, on a cruise or, you know, family pictures or a video that you really like that you could want as it. You could have your own, like, movie series on it. You'd have to change the episode each time, but it would still be really cool. All right, guys. So the next thing that I'm going to be suggesting for your setup to improve it is definitely a set of keycaps. Now, obviously, these are 25 pounds, but they make all the difference to your keyboard and RGB. Now, this is obviously, if you have an RGB key, like uh, RGB, it's gotta be a mechanical keyboard, but if you have an RGB keyboard, a uh, mouse mat and a nice mouse, but you know, you wanna, you know, enhance the keyboard RGB because it may not be that bright with the existing keycaps, buy this. It's literally like translucent um, bottom bit, so then the light can pass through it creating more lighting and doesn't, you know, makes it brighter. You can see it better. As you can see here, this is it from the side and it will make all the difference. It will make your, you know, if you have bad cable management or if you haven't got your keyboard cable drilled through your hole, then, you know, this is a good way to distract the eye from the cable and onto the keyboard to like for its actual self. A lot of different companies have this. I know there's the glorious one. You have the HyperX one, which I'm currently looking at. There's quite a few different brands. Obviously, you've got the Chinese brands, which are sort of, you know, they're not really named. They're not big named brands, but, you know, you can get cheaper ones. Okay, guys, for this final for this final setup tip, it's going to be an LED strip light. Now, getting these creates so much more mood and sort of an atmosphere in your room. Now, just gaming in the dark, it can, you know, kind of be kind of uncomfortable as there's not much light and the only light that is is coming off your screen and onto your eyes so having this will create so much more of a sort of theme around your room and it can create your setup that one step big better now i have my own led strip light under my desk and i'm planning on getting some to go behind my tv and under my bed as well as some people have them around their roof which you know looks really cool you can also go that one step further and buy an expensive one like philips hue or one which works with an amazon echo and then you know you can use voice activation. You can create custom sort of patterns. I know that with the Philips Hue one, it works with Razer softwares so that, you know, you can link it up with your keyboard mouse. 
but they do get up quite expensive. I know the Philips Hue ones are around £80 for 2 meters or 1 meter, but you can buy some cheap ones which are about, you know, 5 or 10 meters for 30 or £40. The cheapest ones I've found are probably about £15. Um, this one which is 10 but obviously you're going to want to buy one which is slightly expensive, which is better quality, because the stickiness on the underside isn't always the best they fall off quite easily so buy some double-sided tape uh, you know you can find that anywhere walmart tesco's sort of anywhere you shop you can find them anywhere really it's not that hard but um some of them have a remote some of them have an app now the app are okay but it's uh, some of the cheaper ones you have to connect to like a separate wi-fi every time you want to change the color so it's not all that good a remote one i'd suggest more because it's slightly easier to use like this one this one's waterproof, RGB, but you know, the quality, that one's pretty good. Look at that, look at the reviews. I will have all of them linked down in the description that I've been talking about, by the way. All right, guys, so for this final one, it is gonna be how to create these four icons or whatever you have in the middle. Now, this looks really nice and also is a lot more comfortable. I don't like going to the bottom left. I like having it in the middle because it's sort of in the middle of my eyesight. So I know what is open, what is there, and I can see it really easily. Now, all you have to do is to do this is just click come up to the toolbar and then press links. Now that should create something there. And all you've got to do, drag this all the way there. There should be a second bar. Now you can just drag that and place it wherever you want. And there you go. Now it is in the middle. It's a really simple trick and it looks nice. Now all you have to do to hide that and that, all you, all you can do is just do that. And then it should say show text. You just got to right click on links. There you go, show title, not show text, but um, you know, close enough. And then you just got to lock the taskbar. So now you can't move it on accident and it will stay there. If you do want to go that one step further with your setup, if you right click on that or on your um, application, right click on the next thing, then you press properties, you can change the icon. As you can see, I could change the icon to any sort of image that I like. And, you know, a lot of different apps can do this. You can get images from the web, change it to anything you like. Now, some apps will have some preset ones, but others will not. So, like, Chrome had some, Discord didn't. Let's see if Streamlabs does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, as I was saying, some don't, some do. The more popular and, like, Chrome, a few other Microsoft apps may have it, but probably won't. So, you can just search up on Chrome the color that you want and then just search PNG. Um, if you don't know what a PNG is, it pretty much... It doesn't save the background so instead of having a big white border around it on the item it will just have the chrome logo that's what all of these images are they're png logos thank you guys so much for watching the video if you have any ideas on how i can improve the video or change it up a little please send some in the comments i really want to like improve and adapt my videos to how um to like provide better quality to make it better and easier for you guys to understand or you know watch it um, I also do have a couple more videos coming out on my setup tool, a few setup tips and how to sort of, you know, make it better. Um, message me on Discord. I will have all the links down to my, my socials. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video.